Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to show you what we did not intend to show you. We were actually game playing and we happened to get that lucky part with 10,000 five star shards on the Red Room Rift. So I decided to start recording. So we already did the, um, uh, the we selected the part, we chanced it and we ended up with 10,000 five-star shards. So we have a couple fights uh, to get those shards. We're gonna take the shards. We're gonna open up that five-star um, crystal, um, see who we get. And we're gonna rank that champion up to at least rank one. And um, just take a look at the roster and see what we have so far. And there you go. We have 10,000 shards. Was not planning on actually doing this video. But since we landed on 10,000 shards, that's on the right side of the map. I thought that was uh, pretty good to record and um, get it out there. So here we go. We're going to just take Star-Lord into this fight and finish off this Aptoid. And here we go. This, this fight should not take long, but that was pretty good. Five star unexpected um, champion today. And uh, so again, these fights you need to uh, these uh, this quest this month. You need it's three phases. You have to get the rift. You have to fight uh, uh, with uh, the Black Widow uh, event. You have to get uh, the access keys to open up the the event where you fight with two star champions to get intel. And once you have X amount of intel. And this is the epic gameplay, so you need to have 500 um, intel to open up the rift to chance it. You need 3,000 if you want to the um, chronometer to uh, select your part. But we already did that video. We already used it up. I'm not going to save up 3,000 more for our next uh, chronometer. So what we're going to do is we are just going to use uh, every 500, which is like every two days. Once you kill the target. Um, you're gonna get uh, uh, just over 250 something uh, intel. Once you have 500, you could open up one of these rifts. And we're just gonna chance it uh, pretty much um, with the epic mode. Uh, anything you get is pretty uh, useful. So I didn't mind chancing it. There is some six star shards as well, but a fully ranked five star champion is fantastic. You cannot argue with that. That is a pretty good pull. And this was just uh, lucky here. You could get the um, uh, alpha crystals as well. A lot of different things in this spot. But there you go. That's the gameplay. Nick Fury, who I awakened. Not, uh, not awakened, but rank 5 last week. Uh, here you go. And you get a senior red room uh, recruit. We're going to pop that crystal on as well. So let's just pop open some crystals here for this video. Now, this is going to be a pretty short video because we're just going to do a quick rank up as well. That should keep us under 10 minutes with this video. And let's see, we have, okay, we got uh, Spider-Man and uh, we're going to pop open this crystal here and we got She-Hulk. So not too bad, those are just the two star pulls, not a problem there. Now we're gonna look for the that five star. And I'm thinking instead of getting that five star, uh, because we have that uh, monthly, let's see here, subscription, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the black iOS market and purchase that five star hero crystal featured. And that's 11,000 shards uh, as opposed to the normal 14,000 or 10,000. So we have, uh, a chance for a five-star champion, hopefully a better uh, five-star champion than the regular five-star champions. Um, I normally just pop the regular five-star crystal, which I should have done with just 10,000, but I just wanted to see what this featured five-star has to offer. We're gonna pop this boy open here and let's see. It's quite a nice looking amount of champs in there. Some of them I really don't need, don't want. But either way, something is going to be good for offense or defense in Alliance War. And we are going to end. Uh, Mojo would have been nice, but we got 
uh, the new reworked and revamped Wolverine. Oh, no, sorry, ex uh, Old Man Logan, I should say. Old Man Logan, who has unblockable um, uh, special attacks, so it's not a bad pull. I have him as a four four star, don't have him as a five star. That was the first five star for for him. And we are going to rank him up. Let's take a look at the roster, what we have here right now. We just awakened Blade this week again with with uh, that uh, Red Rift uh, event. So that is pretty cool. That has uh, done quite a nice job this, this, this month in question for awakening a champion because we pulled that five star um, skill awakening gem a couple days ago and now we just pulled a full five star champion with shards 10,000 shards not bad I wish there was a 10,000 shards for six stars as well but that is not in there and that's pretty much the roster here that we're going for so let's just look, go back up get to this Logan let's see we're gonna rank him up to at least that first level 25 rank 1 and then we'll see where he actually falls in the five star champions uh, setup that we have and see how we could actually incorporate him into some type of gameplay. Uh, let's see, we're gonna just pop him just a couple more shards here and that should get him fully ranked up. One more, I'm not gonna waste 3000 shards on that so I'm just gonna go find something a little bit smaller to use here. Probably a 525, 125. That should do it. Claim the rest. And we should have him now easily up to 25. And yes, let's take a look at where he is on the roster. We could easily take him up to 2, 3, and all the way up to five, 4 star. Uh, 4, a uh, rank 4. But let's see what we have right now. He is oh, still down on the list here. And that was a decision, rank um, Awakening, Aegon, or uh, Blade did not uh, want to just waste it on Aegon. And I know waste it on Aegon is a harsh term, but Blade, I believe, is much better. Instant damage, uh, healing, unlimited amount of healings. Uh, so and it saves you a lot of revives and potions. So all depends on your style of gameplay a uh, gameplay but here we go wanted to awake um see, see who's next to take up on the roster red hulk would be able to go up to the rank three but namor is someone that i want to but we need a, a catalyst for him as well so we're gonna hold off on him uh, Always Archangel is the man to take up as well. So we have quite a few champions. Luke Cage is pretty awesome as well. Havoc, definitely. But again, Mutants, Catalyst is what I'm lacking right now. Pretty much have everything else except that uh, Mutant Catalyst. And um, we need some skill Catalyst as well. Um, have more than enough Cosmic. Uh, but... This is what the roster looks like, guys. I hope you enjoy the gameplay. Work less, play more, enjoy life, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.